Hey, welcome to Book That Commercial. My name is Kimikia, and today we're going to talk about declining an audition. Let's talk about it. All right, so I want to talk about declining an audition. Now, there are many, many reasons an actor may decline an audition. Um, this came to my mind, this topic came to my mind because I pride myself in doing every single audition that my agents send me um, from back in my New York days. Um, I very rarely decline. I very rarely, um, you know, ask for a time change unless it's like necessary. Like I am that person that literally does every single audition. Like um, I can count on one hand how many times I declined or, you know, said I'm not available. Um, it's very slim. Um, but I know that every actor's life is different. Some actors are doing multiple things or their availability is different or they're very strict on the type of roles that they want to go out for. So there's a plethora of reasons why actors decline. Um, emergencies come up, you know, life happens, okay? Um, things of that nature. But I think the important thing to remember is to be kind to yourself as a person. And I'm talking to myself because I recently had to decline two auditions. And like I said, I can count on one hand how many auditions I've declined over the past year. And so it didn't make me feel good, but also my mental health comes first always because any part of my health that is not functioning fully, um, I can't be at my best. So how can I show up for a character? So it's just not going to work. So recently I had to decline um, two auditions back to back within the same week because it was just a very heavy, strange week. You know, we have all those, you know, we have those days or weeks or months or years where the energy in the air is off, something is off about you, maybe you have issues in your personal life, family, friend issues, job issues, hobby issues, you know, animal issues, all types of issues. We're human beings. We're, we're fully, we're, we're multifaceted people. So anything can pop up at any time in anybody's life, okay? People have so many different things going on in their life. And so I recently had to decline because the turnaround time was just so quick that I felt like I wouldn't be able to put my best foot forward. So it doesn't make sense for me to try to rush to just submit something just for the sake of submitting something when it's not my best work or work that I'm not proud of. So I'd rather decline um, than send in something that's half-assed, really. And so, you know, I had to just really be honest with myself and like, you know, it was multiple roles, you know, that were multiple pages, which that's not an excuse because it's just not an excuse. People, you know, actors are getting multiple page scripts every day, you know, and they're they're doing what they can to get it done. They don't complain. And I live my life mostly like that as well. But I had a crack this week where my mental health was not in the best place that I wanted it to be. And I didn't want to put any more stress um, which causes anxiety on to me just for two auditions that a they weren't something that I'm like totally utterly in love with um, and b the turnaround time was just about less than 24 hours so that, that's it's really a lot <laughs> you know when you got other things going on in your life and then your, you know your mental health may not have been in the best space that you wanted it to be because you had a lot of things on your mind Kim um but again so I say that to say that you know declining an audition is not fun I don't think any actor wants to decline an audition I do believe that people have circumstances that come up in their life things happen um things that are out of our control Yes, you do have people that do take advantage of it. You do have actors out there that really are not taking this serious. It's more like a hobby to them. They want to pick and choose or, you know, their acting career 
is really not number one in their life. So it's like whatever, it's secondary. So I'm going to decline, 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 decline. Oh, you know, so I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the working actors out here that we, um, whether you have an agent or a manager or not, but this is your career, you take it seriously, and you want to put your best foot forward to every role that you get, whether it's one line or whether it's 20 pages, you know? And so you need to be in the headspace, emotional space, and physical space um, to be able to just be your best in any audition. And don't get me wrong, there are days when we're not our best. We could be sick, we could freaking have COVID, for all, okay? People have autoimmune diseases, people are working multiple jobs, or people have full families and they're exhausted, moms, you know, or caretakers, and they're still pushing through just to get that audition out, okay? And that's something that we all do. But what I'm saying is, do you push through for auditions that really, if you're at that level where you're so exhausted or stressed, your mental health is off? Are you pushing yourself through to get this audition done just because it's an audition and you want to hand it in to show face, to show that you did it, to show that you, you know, were able to complete the assignment? Or are you really taking into account like, hmm, let me take a look at this. I'm really at a level zero right now with no energy or anything like that. So let me take a look at this piece and see, is it worth me pushing through for this? Or should I just decline this and, you know, let them know that I'm unable to do this because of X, Y, and Z, or I'm not able to do this because I don't feel like I'll be able to put my best foot forward, or I'm not able to do this because I'm not interested in the story or the characters, the show or the film or the brand, um, or this goes against my religion or it goes against my spirituality or it goes against, you know, my ethnicity or, you know, whatever it may be, you know, so those are reasons to decline. And those are reasons that are valid, I feel like. And I feel like every actor has the right to decline an audition, you know. But I also feel that those actors that are declining auditions, the, 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 the true actors that are working and putting in time and effort on a daily basis in all areas of their lives, they are declining that audition so that they can be in a better space to be a better human being. So that when the next audition comes through, so that when the the um, next family event comes up or, you know, you have a meet up with your hobby partners like you are your best self. So I guess what I'm saying in this is, you know, be your best self as much as you can be. And if you feel like I'm not my best self, I feel like, yes, yeah, something tells me I can't do this. I, I, I've pushed through before and got it done. But for some reason, maybe I'm not connecting with the piece. I'm not connecting with the characters. The time constraint, I really, I don't have time to do it. I've got a million things on my plate. I'm trying to squeeze. There's so many different factors that go into it because as an actor, we live so like our lives are just so full, bold and colorful. And so really when you're declining an audition, really, you know, I think that it's really an intuitive type of thing. Sometimes it's not an intuitive thing. Sometimes it's just black and white. Like sometimes I just got this audition and it's due in two hours and I'm literally on a plane to Istanbul with my family. So I have to decline this because if it's due in two hours, uh, can I do it at the hotel in six hours when I get there or not, I'll have to decline. So situations like that, you know, so life happens. But other than that, I feel like when it comes to health, mental health, emotional health, physical health, um, those things really take first place or should take first place in your life. And if you're at a place where you cannot do the audition for any of those health reasons, then you definitely should decline. You know, and if you have really good representation, they will understand, especially if they know that you're hardworking. They know that you put in the work. They know that you've handed in all the other auditions and you normally don't do this. You normally do not decline, um, but you have declined today um, for this specific reason. They will understand, you know, and you can explain to your reps if you want. I have a mental health day. I need to take a mental health day. I'm not feeling well today. Super sick. I mean, be honest, you know. Or the turnaround time is too tight. I'm not able to make it. 
sin, you know, or, you know, I'm not able to make this deadline. Can I get an extension or am I able to, um, you know, send it to you later on today? You know, so with that being said, I think that when it comes to the decline, there's so many different facets of why an actor declines, why an actor should decline. And I just think that it's an individual decision. So again, really it's, it's, it's traced back to your intuition, into your gut, into your life, into what's going on in your physical, real reality world, your life, what's going on in your life. And you make that decision. That's a personal decision. Don't let anybody ever tell you what you should and shouldn't do. Because at the end of the day, you have your relationships with your reps. You have your gut, your intuition that is guiding you um, to be the best that you can be. So you want to listen to those things as well. Another reason why declining an audition is not easy for me, and a lot of actors might agree with this as well, is because... When you have reps, an agent, and or a manager, you have a team. You all are a team. This is a partnership that you're going in together to, um, you, you, you have a team, okay? You all are in partnership with each other. And so I will hold up my end of the bargain, okay? Because they're holding up their end of the bargain by sending me auditions on a weekly basis and working really hard, they're submitting, they're pitching. You have no idea what goes on behind the scenes in an agent's office, who, what they had to do to get you that audition, who they had to call, who they had to pitch to, what they had to say, how many times they had to submit you. You just don't know. So because of that, and I know that they're working hard because I see the number of auditions that I receive on a weekly basis. I know that they're working hard for me and they really are, you know, sending me opportunities that I would have never gotten if I was not in a partnership with them. And so for me, holding up my end of the bargain and doing the work, putting in good work because they believe in me, obviously if they sign me, um, you know, is really important to me, you know? And so that's why it's hard for me to just willy nilly decline an audition because I'm working, I'm in a partnership where they're working on their end and I want to be working on my end as well. And, you know, they have days where they're not feeling well They're you know, they have to take days off or whatever is going on in their life because they're human beings as well. And so I think that, you know, um, when you decline an audition, these are some of the things that we as actors that have reps we do think about this, hopefully. I mean, maybe some people don't think about it, but it is one thing that I do think about. So that's why it is harder for me to just be like, nah, 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 nah. Because no, I'm in, I'm in a wonderful, a really great partnership and I want to keep that partnership. I appreciate that partnership. And I'm so thankful and grateful for the partnership that I have and how hard that they're working for me. So yeah, that is one thing that um, makes it hard to decline. Have a wonderful day. I hope that this quick story time slash rant was semi-interesting or informative in some way. Um, you can head over to the website, bookthatcommercial.com. I've got freebies, merch, and I'm a commercial audition coach. And have you ever declined an audition? Would you ever decline an audition? Um, and why? Why would you? Why would you not? Do you think it's okay for actors to do it? Um, have you declined an audition before? And if so... What were your reasons? Drop your answer in the comments below. Let me know. Talk to me. Right? Have a wonderful night, y'all. Peace.